Johnny, why are you late? Because you made me play a stupid click, point and click flash adventure game. Ah, this is wonderful. Johnny, why are you late? So apparently this is Johnny and he has arrived at work late and uh, their eyes move. That's kind of cool. Ooh. That, uh, I'm clicking on it, but it does... Oh, it brings up, like, the the winter thing. That's cool. I didn't find that out the first time. All right, so here, these are actual scenes from the game. Taking a shower, punching a fat kid, and toilet paper. Yay. Let's start explaining. Well, for sure it isn't because of the alarm clock. Here's what happened. Yeah, I'm going to go through this pretty quick because this game was annoying when I played it. All right, there's a crowbar. This is too high. Oh, no. There's a window. It's stuck. This chair. You can pick up the chair and put it in your inventory. Why not? Here's a key. Let's put that in our inventory. Tissue. Not mine. Must be contaminated. Pick up the alarm clock. The alarm clock doesn't stop working. And it will every few seconds continue to ring. So let's put that in our inventory. Our uniform. Let's put that in our inventory. What else? There's a crowbar. This rug. Nothing. We're apparently... We can tickle him. We don't know the combination to the lock. And, as I found out, um, even though, even if you know the combination, like I know the combination right now, you can't open it until you've gotten the clue that unlocks the combination. So there's no uh, extra speedrunning. Very difficult to see toothbrush. Let's put that in here. Now let's try to leave. Annie. Hey, shut that alarm off before you get down here. Ugh. So here, we want to throw this out the window, but the window's stuck. We want to get the crowbar, but the crowbar's too high. The chair says, I learned from my three-year-old girl this can be used to reach high places. You have no clue how long it took me. I'm sitting here clicking all over to put this stupid chair down, and then finally there's this tiny little spot right here you can click. The chair goes down, and then you grab... <laughs> he doesn't move at all, but you grab the uh, crowbar off the top. Open up the window and, of course, drop the crowbar outside, and toss that alarm clock to the street below. At last, my ears are at ease until I see my wife. Alright, so nothing else that we can do in here that I remember, so let's head downstairs. Alright, water dispenser doesn't work. Air freshener, we'll take that. We can go back upstairs, but or we can head to the side, or we can go this way, but what about this? Annie, prepare your stuffs while waiting for me, would ya? Well, I don't really have much by way of stuffs. Yeah, nothing else in here. Let's go talk to this kid. My fat kid. He says nothing. Here's some car keys. Let's take those. There's a cobweb, a sofa. It's very comfortable. A lamp. What an exciting lamp. Is this still my house? Why is everything locked for me? Can't get into his room. All right, let's head back. Let's go to the kitchen in the kitchen. There's a towel. I can't reach it. And I've lost my chair. Oh no. What is here? Potato? We'll take the potato. A glass? Alright. A tablecloth. Oh look. It doesn't actually do anything. Refrigerator. Frozen toothpaste. Why not? There seems to be an interesting item frozen inside. Well, we can't tell what that is. And nothing else in the refrigerator is interesting in the least. Let's head back. You still want me to prepare my stuffs. Well, I have frozen toothpaste, and obviously I can't put it on my toothbrush, so let's fill up our glass with warm water, combine the frozen toothpaste with the warm water, and now we have thawed toothpaste. Put it on the brush, and let's try to brush. Oh, I won't swallow after gargling again. I need to find a proper place. Well, you could, if there was a sink in your kitchen, brush your teeth in the kitchen. Ah, where's the toilet paper? Apparently, my wife is in need of toilet paper, so I will rescue her by bringing her toilet paper. Coming, honey! And scene number one from the front of the game. I'll be out in a minute. By the way, your wallet's in the drawer. Here's the code. Thank you, who just grabbed the toilet paper and has wiped. Thanks for handing me a note. That's not gross at all. So here you get the combination. You can tell, based on this logo, that you need to turn your head to the left. And you can see that the code is the white space, 803. Now, the code will work on this drawer, so we go 803. Grab some boxing gloves, why not? 
and some soap. I'm going to leave the wallet because you actually get an achievement for uh, not taking the wallet with you. Um, otherwise, the wallet serves no purpose. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Oh, hey, look, we can get into the bathroom. And you can just barely make out these wispy green lines. Is this even made by a human? Ew. And that's why we have air freshener. Clean that up. Let's head into the kitchen real quick. There's my wife. Did you buy air condition for the kitchen? Oh, uh, because we got the refrigerator open. And here, you can see her leg. And she's got nasty green sp uh, black spots on it. Okay, so we put everything in its proper place. There's some soap. There's a toothbrush. There's my uniform. I know where there's a towel. I just can't reach it. And I don't know where there's a razor. Let's grab these gloves. Here's a plunger. Why not? Toilet paper tissue tube. Okay, so we can use this plunger to grab our towel. And we'll put that towel away. But where was that razor? Well, let's see. Hmm, my fat kid won't let me out the front door. Dad, give me my whole allowance this week or I won't let you pass. Well, you know what, kid? I'm gonna... Boom! Punch your face off. And that was scene number two from the front. Grab your little box here. I've already found the key. Click. Oh, hey, look. I keep a razor inside a box with a lock on it. Put the razor. And now we get... Shower cutscene! Aw, yeah. I'm all about shower cutscene, baby. There we go. Not with the guy, though. Yeah, sparklies. Ah, that tickles. Okay, what are we doing still? Nothing to be found in here. The bathroom seems to be done for. My wife is no longer in the kitchen. Oh, here she is. And look, she's got black spots again. Wonderful. I found Sam unconscious, so brought him to his room. Guilty? Uh, English? Alright, so we can go into Sam's room. I guess we'll take a look in here. Look. Hey, an ice pick. I know where we can use that. And here's something... Okay, so up here, it's a potato gun. And we have a potato. We have a tube. Aw, uh, that doesn't combine. We have air freshener. Aw, uh, they don't combine. Okay, well, I guess we won't be using those. And here, too, I figured out the code to the drawer, but you can't open it up until you get the clue that tells you, huh, he may have something that I need. How can I wake him up? Smack him. Smack him with the gloves. Stab him with an ice pick. Oh. All right, well, we'll come back here. How about we stab her with an ice pick? Oh, I'm not that evil yet. Why won't we stab her when she was, you know... In the kitchen, who knows? Let's go outside. Here's my car. Here's a saw handle. Uh, pipes, windows. Let's get inside the car. Oh, I just remembered the door lock is broken. I must find another way in. Well, dang it. Well, I can at least open up the trunk and grab my kid's action figure. Then I'll head over here. There's a spider. Ah, uh, ah, cute. How could I handle such a delicate... I'm not speaking. I don't even care what that says. Let's pick up a hot dog on a stick. If you look at the hot dog, it says, I'm hungry. So we go ahead and eat it. Mmm, that's sumptuous. And let's use that stick to pick up the spider. Time to take you home, little friend. We did not impale the spider on the stick. The spider is kind of crawling on the stick. I'm not touching this trash can. Well, use the gloves, stupid. Hey, your kid's other action figure was in the trash. That's wonderful. Let's not clean it up and go give it to him. Put this here. Uh, hello. There we go. Now maybe you want to get... There you go, where you belong. And I just remembered we have an ice pick, so let's go ahead and defrost and grab this other figure. I know Pyro. I know Belial or Belial. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. I've never heard of Kressel before. Hey, look, suddenly putting these toys away has awoken my son. Hey, Dad, what are you doing here? Look, son, I found your action figures. Cool, I thought I'd never see them again. Now, would you mind telling me what this blueprint is? If my guess is right, I kind of needed to break in somewhere. That's a potato cannon. Very dangerous. Will you help me make one? Sure, but I'm missing some parts. Okay, see the poster behind me? 
Just ignore the primary colors and you'll get the code for my drawer. I totally want to set this up one day so that I could tell my child or my wife or someone that. Hey, see that poster? Just ignore the primary colors. Uh, you'll find things that should be able to help you. So now, considering Belial, Pyro, these, these two were the first two dolls I found and they look demonic. Belial is in and, in and of himself um, a demon's name. We can go ahead and use the 666 code. And we get it to open. And for some, reason, for some reason, he has a saw blade and a lighter in his drawer. Well, we can take that saw blade, put it on the saw, head out, and just cut a piece of pipe off. Why not? Combine the air freshener with the pipe, the pipe with the potato. It's not going to let me do it yet. Okay. The lighter with the pipe. Then with the potato. No, still not going to let me do it. Okay. Well, we have a spider. Let's go inside and put the spider back in his cobweb. Get in there. And he's going to knock down some tape. Okay. If you look on here, the tape is right there. So we combine the tape with the potato gun. Then we load it with a potato. Then we have a tissue tube. Why not stick it on the top? And now we have a sniper potato gun. Awesome. Boom. Right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to go in there yet. Oh, well. Bravery is an achievement for not taking your wallet while you're driving your car. And I was going to tell you, if you go upstairs... I did this the first time, and uh, I didn't get to do it this time. If you go upstairs, your wife is lying in your bed. And there's a new locked box sitting on your dresser. And if you put in the secret code, which is 1431, which you, uh, I think you figure out by looking at the spots on her leg. Um, that was the one thing I had to look up. I found all of the rest of this, but I couldn't fi find the code to get that. Someone just told me the code, and so I put it in, but I haven't figured out how you figure it out yet. And uh, then you'll get a picture, and you can see what her face looks like. Sorry I'm late. Here's the detailed events of what conspired this morning. You can pause and read that if you'd like. Again! Do it again! No. This is the end of this. This is a kind of a crappy game, but I wanted to play it mostly because Keeble... Um... I have a video. One of my, one of my highest viewed videos is my Flood Fill walkthrough. And the reason why it has so many views... Um, I can't remember if it's on my channel right now or if it was on my channel, uh, my old channel. But Keyball is a gaming website and they linked to my Floodfill uh, video as a walkthrough. And so it suddenly shot up in views. So I figured I would uh, return the favor. This is on the front page of Newgrounds. Bye bye.